helicopter is flying in a straight line over a level field at a constant speed of 6.2 meter per second and a constant altitude of 9.5 meters so uh, the helicopter is flying at this height constant altitude which is 9.5 meters and it is flying horizontally parallel to the level field so 6.2 meter per second like this a package is ejected horizontally from the tower with an initial velocity of 12 meter per second with respect to the helicopter in a direction opposite to the helicopter's motion this is interesting now uh, let's say at this at one point in time a packet is released which is 12 meter per second with respect to the helicopter so it's over here but the helicopter is already moving at 6.5 6.2 meter per second so we need to find the uh, uh, we need to find the actual velocity of the package with respect to the helicopter so the velocity of the package with respect to helicopter is velocity of the package minus velocity of the helicopter velocity of the package is uh, uh, is, is is towards the left uh, package with respect to the helicopter is 12 towards the left and velocity of the package is something which we have to find uh, so we can first rewrite this as velocity of the package is velocity of the package with respect to helicopter plus velocity of the helicopter so this is 12 which is left and helicopter is right at 6.2 uh, so this is coming as 5.8 meter per second and that's definitely towards the left uh, as per the our assumed uh, directions so this is the velocity of the package with respect to the ground so what is the initial speed of the package with respect to the ground exactly what we found is the answer to part a what is the horizontal distance between the helicopter and the package at the instant when the package strikes the ground okay so when the package strikes the ground it covers a vertical displacement of 9.5 meters and the vertical velocity is anyway zero so you're going to use the second equation of motion that s is equal to v naught t plus half a t square s is 9.5 initial velocity is zero uh, zero plus half uh, a is 9.8 then we have t square over here so the value of time comes out as grab my calculator so 9.5 times 2 over 9.8 and square root of this is coming as 1.32 seconds 1 1.3 1.39 seconds uh, pardon uh, but we need to find the uh, uh, horizontal distance between the helicopter and the package so now what we are going to do is uh, since the package is moving in opposite direction We'll, we'll see, uh, we'll just make a rough sketch that the package will move like this at 5.8 meter per second. So it will fall over here and the helicopter is moving here. So the horizontal distance between them will be the sum of D1 and D2. This is the helicopter, helicopter this is the package. So uh, how much has the package moved? The distance of the package is going to be just speed times time because the horizontal in the horizontal motion, there is no acceleration. So it's speed times time, which we just found. So this is coming as uh, this, is, this will come as some value. And the distance of the helicopter will be speed of the helicopter, which is 6.2 times the same time uh, when the package has hit the ground so this so the net distance is going to be the sum of dp plus dh so this is dp uh, this is dh uh, so this is going to be uh, 5.8 plus 6.2 times 1.39 so this is coming as 16.68 meters this is the value of the distance between the helicopter and the package when the package has hit the ground and the last part is what is the angle of the velocity vector of the package with the ground uh, 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 before just before the impact so for that we need to find the vertical velocity after that time so the vertical velocity uh, we can use the first equation of motion that vv is equal to vi plus at so that's going to be zero plus a is 9.8 and time is 1.39 uh, so the vertical velocity is coming as 9.8 times 1.39 which is coming as 13.13.622 so the situation before hitting the ground is something like this it has a horizontal velocity of 5.8 because that's not something which is going to change there is no acceleration in that direction and we have the vertical velocity as 13.622 so with respect to ground 
the angle is theta and theta and tan of theta let's use a different color over here so tan of theta would be given as the vertical velocity which is 13.622 over the horizontal velocity which is 5.8 uh, so the theta is the theta comes as let me grab my calculator here it's 66 66 point nine four degrees so this is the angle with respect to the ground at which it hits uh, the surface or the ground thank you